Seafood fraud, the stats are in and the results are surprising. Seafood is one of the most vulnerable food categories when it comes to food fraud. There are just so many ways that fraud can be perpetrated in a seafood supply chain. It starts with illegal fishing, which can take the form of harvesting from not permitted areas or at not permitted times. Illegal fishing can also take the form of quota breaking, which is taking too many animals, catching protected species or using disallowed catch methods. After the animals are landed on shore, they can be misrepresented by the organisation that harvested them or by the traders who sell them or by the processors who handle them. How might they be represented, misrepresented? They might be claimed to be from a different geographical origin or a different catch method or even of a different species. Then you have processing or treatment frauds, such as increasing the weight of shrimp by soaking them in gels and other liquids or treating tuna with the chemicals to make them look fresher. Then there is smuggling and subsidy fraud, where seafood is imported and exported clandestinely to evade duties or gain subsidies intended for locally grown seafood. Finally, there's expiry date fraud, in which frozen seafood is made to seem less old than it really is. And of course, don't forget human slavery in the fishing and fishing processing industries. Many academic studies about seafood fraud investigate mislabeling fraud. Think Pollock instead of Cod, Tilapia instead of Snapper. However, the highly respected food integrity research team at Queen's University Belfast has destroyed the idea that species misrepresentation is the biggest problem in seafood fraud. They investigated a decade's worth of data from four food fraud reporting databases and found that the most significant issue of concern is illegal or unauthorised veterinary residues in farmed seafood from Vietnam, China and India. The residues are unauthorised antibiotics, growth hormones and pesticides, with the most notable being nitrofurin antibiotics in crustaceans, so crustaceans are shrimp, crab, lobsters, and for fin fish, the presence of malachite green fungicides. The antibiotic chloramphenicol was found in crustaceans, mollusks and fish. Species substitution turned out to be pretty far down the list. It was the sixth most, most prevalent fraud type after chain of custody abuse, illegal or unauthorised international trade, illegal processing and undeclared product extension. If you are into food fraud, their research paper is a really good read. How rare is that? Highly recommended and open access. And of course, the link to the paper is in the email and post. In short, the type of food fraud responsible for the largest number detect of detected incidents in seafood is unauthorized residues in crustaceans and finfish. Species substitution was less prevalent than expected.